So we're here again with uh, Nuke. Nuke. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're Cut. you're nuclear on the ice. Mm. Nuke, uh, Nick, the Luke one. one. I don't. I don't want to bring up hockey. I'm, I will pass you the puck. I well, we're not going to play the rest of the year, so it oh, doesn't just, matter anymore. We just, we just found out they canceled uh, canceled all the hockey. COVID-19. This is our second time here. Even though nobody's seen the first one, why did nobody see our first podcast? COVID killed it. COVID. Well, you killed it after COVID killed it. Well, we were sitting here live. the day, l- live, live, filming as the world was collapsing. Was you know, it the day? Because it was a weird, eerie feeling talking to you, yeah. thinking... Where's sports going? Where's the world going? Why the concerts were canceling? You're like, I don't even know if we're allowed talking about it. I know. It was eerie. It still is. I mean, it's we've moved along. We're three, four months ahead, but I don't know where we stand on a lot of stuff still to this day. I, I don't even like talking about it. I don't even want to have the show, the conversation of Cove. If we said this is the last time you say COVID in this entire thing, what happens? Okay, well, let's do it. But we, we're going to air that one later anyway. <laughs> Because we're still dealing with COVID. Our concert's coming back. Uh, they are at some point. I mean, truthfully, the industry is probably at a standstill until next year. No one's really going out this year. Uh, with our border closed, no one's crossing the border. Most of our entertainment is from the States. Um, but they don't know either. I mean, all it takes is a massive outbreak. Look at Florida right now. Look at the U.S. Um, scary. You don't know what's going to happen. So we're we're hopeful that, you know, next summer it kicks off again and the outdoor season, and then you roll into arenas in the fall and winter, but that's optimism. Okay. Could change. In your opinion, when am I going to be able to walk into the Avenir Center? Yeah. Buy an overpriced wobbly pop. Whoa. And watch the Wildcats. Whoa. And no offense to you, every stadium, arena, rink in the planet, yep. the, the drinks are like 25 cents. They're premium too beverages. Much. Yeah, they're premium, premium, premium beverages. Yeah. You can't, you can't uh, just buy these beverages anywhere. That's right. <laughs> to answer your question, it sounds like it's October for the Wildcats. I mean, the Quebec League is pushing to have their start date in October. They're putting a return to play plan together, being submitted, and there's a likelihood that it's going to be October. Well, we'll can, will we be sitting two seats apart, three, or are we... TBD. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. We have to follow social and physical distancing where we can, but um, it doesn't make a ton of sense to have 2,000 people in a building that fits seven financially. Well, I do. For anybody. For anybody. I completely agree. Um, So that's kind of, like I said, we're four months into this, but I don't know a lot of, we don't have a lot of the answers at this point. It's still pretty exciting. You know what I'm super excited about too? Is the NHL playoffs coming. I know. When do they start? August 2nd. Really? They're in training camps now though, right? I I love it. It's going to be the best playoffs ever. It's just going to be so exciting. No asterisk beside it? No. No? No, no. I think that it's going to be the COVID cup and it's going to be the one you want. (laughs) The COVID cup. It's so exciting. The one you want. (laughs) It's the one you want. It's because... Remember that one summer when we won during COVID? (laughs) No, but the whole whole NHL is going to change. The season timelines are going to change now. Everything. Yeah. But this is, we've all, there's extra teams in here, everything. It's going to be so exciting. Anybody? It's going to be, and there's going to be, what, six games a day? Like, they're going to start gonna be, in, like, it's gonna be noon amazing. and run till the end of the day. And the I'm Leafs are going to be in prime time because be they should be. The best playoffs ever. Right? If the, anybody, Leafs, the Leafs are going to be in prime time. They could they be. be. They, they could be. be. I hate the Leafs. Are you the Leafs The Bruins fan? will be playing at 9 a.m. Eastern every day because <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> so uh, I'm going <laughs> to ignore that or we're going to edit it out. Um. It's going to be exciting. So concerts, what were you saying next year? Yeah, likely next year. I mean, the hope is, you know, we'll have everything on sale and things will be rounding into form in the fall and winter. But again, it's crapshoot. Like if I'm I'm guessing, saying that's optimistic. Yeah. I mean, I think you see some outdoor stuff in the summer, like festivals and that might start kicking off because open air is a lot easier than confined space. But I don't know. Yeah, but things are getting back to, to normal somewhat because you know what I did last night? What? What do you, you know what I did last I night? I know what you did last night. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that, wasn't that a movie? I'm shocked you showed up for the first game though. Why? Jay was saying, I, Jay was laughing when I said, I said, your success is going to ride on Bridges showing up. And he said, Bridges, LOL. But what is it? What does that mean? I, I really, lo- you did, do I not show up for games? No, you were here and there. You're, up, you're hot and cold. In, oh, okay. Well, let's, let's base right now what we're talking about. I played hockey last night. Yeah, you did. We play in a four summer get together kind of, would you call it a league? It's a training camp. It's training for the, camp. For the fall season. Yeah. yeah. So we divvy up all the guys. It's four teams. Yeah. And you're not on my team this year. I'm you're very not. upset. Yeah. Because we usually play together. 
But we played hockey last night. But the odd thing is we had to uh, show up at the rink mm-hmm. in our gear. And then you go into an empty rink. I haven't done rink. that since you were, what, 10, I, seven, 10, 8? 10, yeah. You haven't driven with your gear on probably in a while. I know, but you know what was awkward? Is a lot of the guys changed in the parking lot, so they're half, you know what I mean? Skibby down. And uh, it's not something you want to see. People are going to set up their own tents there's, in the There's going to be, we one. should open up a tent and charge a fee. You should. <laughs> Stand outside the rink and just one of those little shelters, you pop up like an ice fishing tent. We should go through this, just sell beer, like on the ice, you know, the ice cream carts? I a don't, beer? I don't, pr- being in that industry, I don't promote that. We could charge like I don't $14 advocate. a beer. It's 10 10 oh, Okay. Ten. Sorry. But uh, you, what was awkward after is you're all sweaty and everything, you can't have a shower, yep. and we have to sit in the truck, sit in your car. I know. It's like, I'm not going to be able to sell my truck in another four months if we keep doing this. I know. But the best part is just hanging out and shooting the blank after you play a game of hockey. Yeah. That's what you can do that in the parking lot. A lot of the guys sit on the back of their beds or their truck. But it's not as fine. But you smell and you're disgusting. I think this is sticky. It's temporary. It could be worse. We could be not playing. So we're playing. We'll we'll deal with it. I hopefully this isn't something we deal with in the long term. And you know what? The, when you're on the ice, you don't even really get close to people. It, you think you, well, you would, don't but you don't. Cor- you don't go in the corners. I don't often. go in the corners. I, I'm allergic to them as well. I'm just circling by myself <laughs> waiting for the breakout pass. You figure, so I don't figure eights <laughs> in between the blue lines? I, no, I can't go left. The figure eight, you have to do the, <laughs> you have to be able to cut over both sides. <laughs> so stops and starts. It's more of a loop starts. stop. Yeah. Loop stop. Yeah. Okay, no. So, uh, All right, we'll stop making fun. You icing your house was listed on MLS. It is. How's it going? It's... Uh, been busy. I forgot how much I hate selling houses. It, it's Especially a lot of when work. you live in them. Having to show them all the time is a pain in the butt. All right, so uh, let's go through it. When did you list it? A week ago, Wednesday, Thursday of last week. I think we've had eight or ten showings. Um, did you get an offer? Got an offer. Uh, so you have an offer right now? Yeah. Good. Do you talk, 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 tell us. All positive. Inspection is Thursday, I want to say. Okay. So, Do you have their financing? Yeah. Everything, I believe, is... Or what day is today? I have no yeah, idea. Until the 17th, I think, for financing, the proof for proof of it. Okay. Um, inspection is the 17th. And then after that, depending on what comes from that, hopefully it's all good to go. So you did your little disclosure, this what I did to do, 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 the Just roof side and all that stuff. Just okay, did so you did today. that. Yeah. So you're, you got your financing. You got a letter from the bank. Their financing's good. I haven't got it yet. Okay. But I'm banking on it. <laughs> okay, well, that, that, <laughs> that's about until the 17th. That's I, said, a, I don't even know what date it is. It's the 14th. That, that's like Bridges showing up for a game that's important. <laughs> yeah, it's minor. It's one of the things that have to be checked. Uh, so the offer, good good offer? Happy with the offer. Happy with it. Are they going to play games? You know what? And I hate to endorse it. I don't even like talking about it. But some people use the home inspection to try to get money. Instead right. of just fixing the doorknob or something else they're out to get. Hmm. Money. Well, I mean, for me, it's if you want to come back with something outrageous, I'm just not going to deal with it. Exactly, especially in the hot market. Right. Why is the market so hot? Why is the in- inventory? Uh, I think already, before even the cove happened, there was already a major push for people to move to New Brunswick, the East Coast, Nova Scotia. Yep. People are sick of the big city life. Yeah. And I think... The Ontario transplant. Money like came me. into Vancouver, pushed people out, prices went up. Money came into, and from overseas, wherever money comes from, mm-hmm. though getting into the whole thing, uh, all the Ontario towns boomed. Mm-hmm. People take that. Well, there's money. a lot of what TD and people moving out here too, right? TDs had a lot yeah. of people come out this way. But there's a big East Coast boom. Everybody yeah. for years thought we were like idiots, losers out here, and I'm not joking. I'm, you know, East Coaster, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and now they all want our life. We have a nice life. Real yeah. estate's cheap, but it's going up. Hmm. There was already that push. So you're going to know this weekend. I would hope so. Probably the day this is coming out. Yeah. That. Uh, I'm going to know if I have a house sold or not. Yeah, it's yeah. true. I know. So what are you going to do if it sells? I'm going to probably move into a condo or look and see what else is out there, but likely a condo for the short term. And then uh, see what else is out there. Okay, so you're waiting. It's just home. They did a home inspection. They haven't yet, 17th. So they hired a company. Just, make me look my phone. 17, yeah. They yeah, hired a couple a of days. Yeah, they hired a company to do one. Okay, did you hire a company when they you did. bought it? Yes. Same company? Different. Was there issues when you did it? Not really. You know what nothing I Nothing major, nothing that I had to be too concerned about. I mean, we did do some things, but nothing crazy. Okay, so how uh, how long ago did you do your home inspection? 
two and a half years ago. So it's going to be interesting to see two different companies, two and a half year span, and that's not long in houses, yeah. what the difference is of the home inspection. I know. The home inspection has scared me from day one. I mean, it's a 40-year-old house, right? It's it's okay. It's updated. It's modern, but it's just, it's older, right? So, yeah. you know, inevitably there's going to be, like you said before, things that uh, people find yeah. Yeah. and uh, deal with. So, okay. So if it goes together, they love it. Yep. And there's nothing wrong with the house they buy it. You're, what are you going to do? You're going to go rent a condo. I might rent a condo. What do you do with your stinky hockey gear in a condo? Throw it downstairs. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, there's like storage down there. Oh, so you have a storage room down there. Yeah, as so far as I'm aware. Is it shared storage? No, it's open. No, but I mean, there's other people with storage areas there too? Yeah. Oh, they're going to love I wash you. my they're hockey gear every now and again. I wash mine too once January 1st every year. <laughs> It's a big thing. Everybody's partying. I'm watching. Well, when you play ten games a year, it's not as bad. So you're gonna you're gonna air your stinky gear yeah. out, even though it's washed. With all, they're gonna kick you out of the condo. No, the condo association is gonna put a rule in for your hockey gear. <laughs> they will. No. So why rent? Why aren't you gonna go buy a house? Um, if there's the right house out there, I'd be interested in buying. Mm, have you thought I about actually... one that was renovated, flipped? You can pick everything. Uh, good price. Just. I'm asking for a friend. What's your price range? <laughs> TBD. We'll see how the house sale goes. I don't even know what TBD means. I just went along with you the first time. <laughs> no, I know what it means. I'm joking. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. Um, that's probably the short-term thing. And if there's something that fits, I'm happy to look at it too. But I don't know. So you're going to rent a condo. You might go buy something if you can find something. Something fits. I just, like I said, I jumped in last time. Too big of a house. Love the neighborhood. Love my neighborhood. You know what? We're skipping stuff because we did a podcast mm -hmm. that we didn't air. Where are you from? Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, Canada. And you moved here. For work. To run. To run the venue. I was in Kingston for the last 10 years before that. Kingston, Ontario. Moved here in 2017, June, to run this building. So, yes. So, to we should uh, go over... It's like you, you organize it. I know there's a whole team and a crew and a whole bunch of people, but all the concerts, the shows, mm -hmm. the Cirque du Soleil's, everything, you're putting those together. I'm helping that. I'm the small cog in a big wheel. Yeah, exactly. I'm yep. not trying to take it away because everything, yep. even me here, I'm in, we're here, but there's so much more that goes on. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I have a phenomenal team that does most of that for me, which I'm grateful for. Um, yeah, any events. I mean, we hosted the last Tragically Hip show in Kingston before I left there. It's probably the biggest show we've ever done. Um, wow, that sounds insane. Cirque du Soleil here, Keith Urban, UFC, all that stuff. See, that we, we want to get that stuff back. We do too. I Desperately. I know. I'm the in. restaurants need it. Uh-huh. Hotels, restaurants. We got two new hotels coming around the corner. Yeah. Well, let's hope. Let's so, hope. Uh, are you excited to move into a condo with no ownership, a little stress-free that's the best part about it, right? Is that it's yeah. stress free. I don't have to worry about renovations or anything that goes wrong, and that'll be the cool part about it. Yeah, I don't this... like the fact of not owning my my own house. Like you know, come you come home, it's it's your house. Whatever mm -hmm. happens, it's your house. Not that anything bad happens, but no. it's just yours. But on the weekend, if you want to add something to the backyard, you want to build yep. a fence, you want to do that, you're adding to your to your your home. It's, it's your, your home. home, yeah. Right. But then there's, on the flip side, there's a big argument if you should rent or buy. There's, there's just wars over it with some people. Yeah. I, I don't think renting is the smart long-term decision. So I'll be actively looking to buy at some point. Cool. Ask so me, you'll show me all these like, great houses, Yeah, right? I'll, I'll, I'll just run some inbox is, My inbox is going to be flooded. <laughs> okay, let's, let, I'll see you again. We're going to play hockey soon. You're going to come back. And, uh, We're going to beat you. We'll do it at the end of the summer once we... I'll sure. bring the trophy in. Deal. Done. Deal. The, the trophy will be sitting sit over there. The trophy will be sitting here on one desk. See you later. Thanks later. for watching, guys. <laughs> You're something else, man. <laughs>